Welcome to the General's Gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Command and Conquer Zero Hour with your most prolific, consistent, uh, weekly shoutcasts <laughs> from the General's Gentlemen. Same upload time uh, every day, every week. Yeah, yeah remember, it's... subscribe 7pm Wednesdays, yeah. Eastern Time. Yeah, very important. Every week yeah. there'll be a new... General yeah, yeah. cast. K keep up with our hourly Facebook posts, and yeah, uh, yeah you can go from there. <laughs> yeah, it has been a while. Hey, it's been a little. I bit. think it's been about yeah. six months or so. Yeah, about. Yeah. Um, sorry, but the problem is now is that we just have a new way to bro out and be bros. We play board games now every week. We do play board, and games. that's and that's how I get my weekly Blake fix. Yeah, <laughs> I used to get my weasley Blake fix by shoutcasting video games, yeah. and now now instead I get wrecked at board games. So, yeah. 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 Which is a little frustrating. You think that, you know, you get to be good at video games, I get to be good at board games. <laughs> Turns out it doesn't work exactly like that, but we'll, we'll get there. Anyway, uh, in the top, it is size. He's our China infantry. Yep. And at the bottom here, we have Fargo playing the Air Force General on one of these uh, TD, except not actually it's Tournament not, Desert. Not TD, because yeah. there are cliffs in different spots. And tournament it's Desert different. Light. It's, yeah, turn. It's, it's like TD, but not TD. It's like um, Cole's brand. Like, you know, your, your, <laughs> yeah, home, your yeah, yeah. home brand. Ho home brand, uh, Tournament Desert. They, they can't, like, actually make Tournament Desert because it's already trademarked, so they have to make their own, like, tournament. I don't know, dry or whatever. <laughs> so, early Humvee here coming out of Fargo is looking for some supply trucks, but he may find an outpost. Yeah, gonna run into an outpost instead, so... It's just a double barracks war factory, which is a pretty strong opener. Um, I'd like to see this V clean up a few of these units. Like, there is oh. a bit of weakness. Ah, okay, we're playing off Raptors. That's that King Raptors. Sense. Now, it's actually yeah. quite clever that he has minigunners in these these bunkers, because yeah. they're going to be much better against the point defense lasers of those those Air Force units. Yeah. Now, he, he, do, he has kept the command center, so it means the Dozer Snipe um, isn't the end of the world. Evacking. Oh, oh, ready to go. Uh, that was really close to actually getting the Raptor. Yeah. I think he, he manually did the micro trick where he, um, he he targeted both the outpost and an infantry unit. Yeah. Because you will overkill an outpost with a Raptor, with a King Raptor at least. Yeah, pretty well executed. Uh, not enough units here to actually snipe down any Vs. Look at this micro. Oh, All of these Vs yeah. are, are very wounded. None of them died. Very, very good play. Capture upgrade makes a lot of sense. Um, Oh, look at that Different. stops. He gets one of them. Yeah, he's got more rockets I left. Know. Oh, well, he's just just canceling. Oh, yeah, because because the additional rockets. You're right. Yeah, yeah. With rocket splitting, it's really hard. To, it's going to be pretty hard to get these captures. He'll probably get the back one. Um, now that there are that many tank hunters on the ground here, should get the back one. Going for bot. Nice. Oh, but he has to lose this one, surely. Oh no, oh, he he, man. he manually targeted the minigunner. Yeah. And so only the tank hunters were left. So very very good air force play here yeah. from Fargo. Yeah, this is pretty nutty. Man, I love Zero Hour. Yeah. Yeah, just just great Raptor. Oh, look at the splitting, dude. That was that was three tank hunters. This is nutty. Now he's got search and destroy up, so these Vs are gonna have a much better time, and still no capture upgrade. Surely this is one too far from size. Like you mean no, no captures? No, I mean um yeah yeah no 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 captures, but I mean he's he's going for like four supply, he's, which seems like a lot. I don't know if that's going to be worth for exactly this reason that the Raptors can just start sniping down buildings. That was a carpet bomb. Once the strat center is unlocked, you get that one. Okay, going for some captures now, but not going to get them. Very good denying here by Fargo, preventing size from getting these captures. Humvees now have found the third supply. This was unlocked, so doing a decent amount of damage to these supply trucks. Should be able to snipe at least one down. It's going to be nice. worth. Yeah. So Fargo being very, very active. Scout post there. Big infantry push here. Already has the, the minigunners evac out. One of the raptors goes down. Limits the micro potential here. For Fargo. Probably has one more, but I'm not really sure how he deals with this. I mean, it's, it's, the ground army is just Vs. Search and destroy these for sure, but still just Vs. Yeah, and he hasn't got Pathfinders yet. He'll get them pretty soon. But it might be too late, losing the supply. He has four Humvees. Firebase is too far away. The 
Humvees were finally cleaned up in the base. Mini gunners are going to go down here, but at the cost of the nice. supply center. And it was really clever that he had the mini gunners in front. Yep. Because the mini gunners are pretty bad against buildings. But the tank hunters are good against the buildings. Oh, bad rally point. Bad rally point. No one likes a bad rally point. Still only one supply mining. Definitely the economy advantage here to, to size. Yeah, absolutely. And, and proving me wrong, still has a supply up on the left-hand side of the map, which is pretty crazy. Um, this is still alive. We see capture upgrades during all this nonsense. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah, nice. Nice, one capture. One capture and one destroyed. Oh. Now the Raptor goes down. These preemptive evacs are, are really punishing Fargo. These do manage to punch through, but again, it's like, what are you punching through to? I mean, I guess you're going to get supply trucks here in the back. But there are there are outposts back here. So a couple of supply trucks will go down, so that's nice. Uh, another big infantry army on the left here from, from size. Yeah, a lot of minigunners. Uh, also a lot of Humvees, too. I think they're all empty, though. They don't look like they have any units inside of them. He's going for a full outpost, but there is still a Raptor up. Size is, is hoping that Fargo's going to transition out of Raptors, given how... Uh... Okay, going in now. Oh. Yeah, that was full. Cool. That was wow. nasty, yeah. I think that was the thought process. It's like the last few Raptor passes have been really ineffective, so all right, well, let's try and fill up some outposts so I can actually deal with the V-Army, but um, mm. yeah, Fargo's smart. Still I think rebuilds Raptors. He, he also probably wants them in the outpost because they're better against Humvees that way. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. But uh, the War Factor is going to go down. The outpost just pops out. King Raptor there for the point defense laser. Very good. These outposts will have a few units inside at least. I don't know if they have any mini gunners, but it will be enough to deal with the bees. Um, assuming the Raptors don't show up, but Fargo just kites backwards. Smart play. Yep. Yeah, oh, Raptors I didn't need back that one. Yeah. Nasty. And of course, the Raptor targeted the one that did not have um, so the, the one that was that, not empty. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, the point defense laser so OP, but still not enough actually, because there's a lot of tank hunters still going to lose these Vs. Uh, second Raptor will yeah, be enough. Do it, that'll yeah, do it. <laughs> that'll do it. Still has the bunker here. Uh, loses the, the dozer, which will prevent the repairs. Looks like there's no prop center tech. He's just trying to go mass uh, war factory. But we do see that he's yeah. building one now, just right as I side. say it. Yeah. Interesting place um, for a prop center. Yeah, there isn't much defense here. I suppose he's yeah. next to the little garrison. There's also there's definitely no vision from Fargo. And it's like, why would you ever push to the right hand side? I don't think the oil sniping the oil is really a, is a high priority for him, especially with just the V's that he's got on the ground. Ooh, stealth bomber. Stealth bomb. Gonna get the barracks down. Oh, supply. and the supply. Nice. Yeah, I think we're gonna need some ECMs. I think that's what he's looking for with his prop center. Yeah. Oh, infantry push on the right side. Gets a couple of Chinooks with those mini gunners. There's a lot of Chinooks with mini gunners. Oh, that's free. And the fire base. Ooh. If you get the, you get the, the power, that'd be nuts. Yeah, the strat center is very close. The power, I think, was the best compromise. He probably wouldn't have got the strats no, in. It's too I, far I away. Yeah. The Humvees were there in time, so... Yeah, nice work. Yeah, it's, it's, it's good delaying tactics for size, particularly now that he's picked up the... Um, Oops, the prop center buys enough time for ECMs. That's good. And the carpet bomb and the... Arty strikes strike. coming in. Oh, and the airfield, but the King Raptors... No, actually, on the barracks. Yeah. Oh, he almost got Burton. Oh, that was so close. That would have been brutal. To just accidentally killing Burton. That would yeah. have been hilarious. I think it was only a level one Arty strike. Yeah. Because he, he didn't go for something a bit more valuable like the yeah. airfield. It was interesting. I don't really know why he went for the barracks. Is it because there's no do No, there is a dozer. So. Yeah, that, that is a dozer. Yeah, why is he yeah. so desperate to kill the barracks? That's I'm not sure. Yeah. Um. Oh, Outpost reveals him. Um, I guess like he doesn't want uh, any oh, production to start up. Yeah, garret. yeah, that's what I figured. Better was for. Yeah, but the, oil, the um, it's a timed one. Nice. No, that was very clever. That it was timed. Timed. Yeah. Look how low resolution that is. 
zoom in, we can just see it. So at least there's actual numbers on there. I find that pretty cool still. But um, yeah, that, that that's worth. That's super worth. To build build a Burton to take out the oil is is really worth. Yeah, it's a good play. Nice. Um, and Ben oh. would have uh, scouted the prop center as well there. Um, Burton would have had the range to do that. RIP Black Lotus. Yeah, I hope we didn't miss any Black Lotus nonsense. Um, that's your responsibility. No, no, we didn't. Uh, we didn't? Uh, I'm pretty sure she just died around. on first cap. Yeah. Okay. Maybe it was just looking to get some King Raptors, but they were all yep. in the air. Oh, we have MiGs now. If China's sick of losing the air battle, wants to get his own air force. But MiGs versus King Raptors is not really a fair fight. Yeah, no, it's not a great deal. Oh, there's no minigunners. Actually, there's one. Okay. You've got one Raptor, but... Yeah, taking down two Raptors, again, cost-wise, would have been great. Um, at least you're, you're trading out money for the prop center. Yeah. I wonder if that gets rebuilt. Well, he still doesn't have any ECMs. Yeah, it, and he didn't build any. That's the thing. It's like the prop center was up for a while, and he didn't build any ECMs, which makes me think that you know, size doesn't really care about ECMs for whatever reason. Um, so we're going to get a mine drop here, I suppose. Oh, it's oh what? The infantry drop, but there's actually Pathfinders here. Still, he's behind the airfield. Can he get the Raptor? No, the Raptor flies away. Looking for the Chinooks, but they're not even mining. Two Chinooks go down, which is, you know, good. But, yeah, as you were saying... Um, oh, wait, no. There's there's only one Chinook here. So, yeah, good, I guess. That's that's uh, that's two Chinooks worth of mining, certainly, at this supply. Yeah, interesting drop there. Um, could have been very deadly if the Raptors were all there. Surprised that he hasn't sold off. Fargo hasn't sold off the second supply for cash, but I guess he's just trying to long distance mine the left. What's over there at the moment? Oh, yeah. yeah he actually okay. built a yeah. forward supply. Yeah, there we go. Another arty strike. Oh, big mix strike. Oh, oh, deadly. Not quite a black napalm, but doesn't. Yeah. So, not the. What is it? Firestorm. Yeah. But uh, gets four MiGs for his troubles. Yeah, it's just punishing the lack of forward vision here from Fargo. Like, those Vs were pretty much at the, the front oh, edge of his vision. He gets one MiG. There's no other King right. Raptor. No. Oh, the Spectre gunship's the coming down. Get it. I yeah. don't think the MiGs are going to take off in time. One of them gets off. Oh, three of them get off. That's massive. So the airfield's going to go down here, but it can be rebuilt. Oh. Yeah, it seemed like it took a long time to, to shoot with his like main gun. Mm. Interesting, but... Um, I mean, three MiGs surviving, that's, that's yeah, the major thing. Yeah, I didn't thing, see so that one happening either. Just, just rebuild the airfield, that's fine. I'm really surprised that Sizes has managed to leverage this supply advantage into such good control over the middle. I just thought the supplies would go down way sooner than they did. So this is great. It's yeah. quite like insane King Raptor pressure from Fargo. I don't know what this dozer is doing. You're gonna die, my friend. Well, good flashbangs in the middle. Try to clear out the, these these buildings mm. because I think there, there must be minigunners in here to try to deny the Raptors. Good yeah. splits for the Humvees. Yeah. I thinking like maybe the dozer's just a mega bait trying to bring the Humvees in so they get big, big strike. Yeah, let's see if this this uh, dozer bait question mark works. No. no. Almost. Fargo ain't falling for that. My favorite thing about Zero Hour is the is like the trajectory of the firebase artillery rocket. Yeah. Like with the shell, I mean, yeah. it's just like <laughs> how silly it looks. <laughs> Just kind of lobs out. Yeah, it, it like yeah. It, it it travels horizontally even yeah. though it's angled like upwards. Yeah. Okay, four MIGs looking for Humvees, but they're split up. No, I mean we'll just say. Oh, it gets, gets two, it, and they're both two. veteran ones. That's fine. This is a MIG. One, yeah, um, maybe it was actually two MIGs he lost. I'm not sure. Ah, yeah, like yeah. Two. Toe's got the one. good thing about the, the MIG rockets is that they, they do have the fire, which will take out the vetted pilots. See the firebase falling on the left-hand side. Those supplies no longer needed. We're heading late game. Um, economy is going to start to matter, which you can see here. I mean, I, I think it's... Probably currently slightly in advantage of Fargo because of he has more uh, more close supplies. We see the the first forward supply from size was really early this game, so that one's already gone. It gets the power. Oh, it almost yeah. gets a pathfinder too. Look, yeah. look how wounded he is. <laughs> this this barracks um, has been quite precarious. The units coming out of it. 
So, yeah, no no late game economy, however. No. Uh, even though there's a China that. Imp, which does have pretty good late game with those those super hackers. I definitely no um, supply drop zones neither. No. Nothing yet. <laughs> it's going to be pretty hard to get those up with RD strikes and carpet bombs available, but. Spectre, round two. Somehow the MIGs don't crash into it. I have two airfields. All right. Uh oh, he's landing. Oops. That was a misclick. Or a mismicro. Yeah. If you had the, the, the max level Spectre, you probably could have like started the Spectre in the middle, switched target into the left airfield, and then switched target yeah. to the right airfield, and just had enough time to kill both of them. Yeah. Well, I think we're going to see Fargo run out of cash. Oh, look at this. A10 and this Stealth Bomber at the same time. Going for this airfield. Oh, he's going to lose all his MIGs. Yep, they're going uh -oh. down. And what's his A10 doing? Oh, he's going to get the dozer in the another airfield. Doesn't look like there was a cancel there. It's pretty strong. Hmm. Okay. Fargo looking better now. Raptors! Oh, no evax! Oh, that's a lot of infantry. Okay, but the dragon tanks here can get the firewall in the strat center. Okay. It is being Instant sold off. Cell. Instant sell. What does he go for now? He can get a nice firewall on these Humvees. Uh, a little bit too late, yeah, I think. Yeah, it starts a little bit late. Um, mm, this command center is too much. Did he get health. the CC? Nah, this no, no right, yeah. Half health is pretty good, though. And and, and evacs this uh, this outpost in a pretty dangerous position as well. So the, the power will go down. Probably nothing else. Another war factory. The biggest being built joke here. is the por the portrait for the war factory shows a crusader being built, not a Humvee. Yeah. It's like as if people ever build crusaders. Yeah. It's a massive troll for new players. It's like they see the tank there. It's like, yeah. oh yeah, it's a, it's a tank. Tanks come out of war factories. Oh um, yeah, mining sense. this is is pretty difficult. It's actually impressive that um, yeah, size has been mining it's, it's this. Nutty as mining as he has. this game. Yeah. Still, the game's looking very close. A very very scary Humvee army here for Fargo. I would say that's probably the biggest advantage here is yeah, just yeah. The, the sheer amount of Vs. Um, you know, so no missile defenders inside them, doesn't really need them. Oh, there's flashbangs there too. Yeah. The games always kind of swing at a point of like one outpost gets through into your base without a King Raptor sniping it down. Um, as yep. we saw in that last oh, engagement. Two King Raptors yeah, sniping two King it Raptors down. will do it. Um, the, the Raptors actually targeted a really full outpost. They targeted the other one. It would have been a lot more missile defenders on the ground. We probably would have seen the airfield go down. Hmm. Now, I wonder if we're going to have the EMP soon. That could, could be a big swing. Um, taking out all these Humvees. Okay, big strike. Uh, Wasn't that great. Got two. Got, got two, hum two Humvees. Uh, really? Are there no Pathfinders? No, oh, no. I hear there one. There we go. There's one. So I heard one. That, yeah, it was it, the really it, wound, yeah, it it was the wounded one? one on the left. Yeah, it's in the V. Death V. Oh, yep. Yeah. Sorry, accurate, my friend. Sniper. Actually, he might lose it. Oh, no. Whoops. Wait. Somehow it gets out of there, though. A little bit late with the target. Hmm. I'm leaning Fargo at the moment. Yeah, that seems like the safe choice. Yeah. This is that Pathfinder. I don't know if this is the right time to long distance mine when you've lost control of the middle, but I mean, I guess we'll see. Ooh, fuel air bomb. Yeah. Okay, this may be a dumb question. Do do Pathfinders need a strat center? I don't know. No. They don't? No. Okay. What is he going for here? The, the war factory? That's it? Okay, that's not bad given that. Oh, there's the EMP, but what does he get? Um. Nothing. Question mark? He gets his, his own, own truck? truck? <laughs> how, how does he only get his own truck? So, yeah. Something here has gone horribly I'm, wrong. I'm disappointed. I mean, I guess this is the follow-up. Oh, yeah, in. that's yeah, the GG. He was banking same. on that. Yeah. yeah, that Humvee army was too big. He lost all his MiGs. And, yeah. and the Humvee army is is very vulnerable to the MiG strike, but he lost them all to those... Um... General Spowers. Yeah. Yeah. Nice game. GG. That was cool. Yeah, look at the supplies collected, like, even, even after the end of that game. Um, a decent advantage for size. That was, yeah, interesting. I, I didn't think he was going to manage to make four supplies work, and did. That was cool. Mm -hmm. um, just so much raptor pressure, um, and still dealt with it. Just yeah, like, really all right, cool. Doesn't matter. Yeah. I've got like four supplies. Oh, by the Take way, I, I forgot to say that we we are back in the OG 
the original oh the casting room. original casting yeah. room yeah that's now true. there isn't the poster there in the back which i might actually put back up there it's in the other room at the moment but um yeah this is where like the exact same spot with my computer that we were casting um, the from originally the yeah original. yeah like originally from the original. start start yeah, yeah. so because there's been a few transitions there has yeah there's been a couple of other rooms Blake was a housemate at one point yeah. and then i moved on my own i lived on my yeah. own in an apartment um and now I'm living back in this house with my wife. As you do. And who, so, who is not Blake. Yeah, yeah no, it's not. <laughs> Just uh, to be clear. I, I have a real wife, so, 100% yeah. real. Not a bot. Not a Blake. Yeah. But no, we're very happy. Yeah, yeah, we got married this year, so. Very um, exciting. Yes. Yeah. yeah, which is good. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Thanks All for right. watching. Thank you, guys. We'll have some more cast coming up soon, so stay tuned. See you next time. Thank you.